How many of you like to indulge in a bag of chips or some form of snack on a daily basis? How many of you would continue to do so if contains cancer was written in big bold letters on the label? The purpose of my speech today is to inform you all on the toxins that live within the processed foods we consume almost every day. Over the past few years as I've gained more knowledge on the food industry, I started really paying attention to ingredient labels. I started Googling ingredients that I couldn't read or even heard of before. And upon my research, I noticed that these toxic additives have been heavily added into our food over the past uh, three to four decades. Um, it's important that I talk about these toxins with you today because you deserve to know what you're putting inside your body and not everyone can read past an impossible ingredient label. Now, although these foods may taste great, um, they contain carcinogens, they cause poor health, and they have a long-term effect on the brain, a long-term negative effect on the brain. Carcinogens live in almost every packaged food that we consume. They're almost impossible to avoid and it's extremely expensive to buy the alternative. According to uh, Healthline's article, Good Fats versus Bad Fats, uh, unsaturated fats and phylates and synthetic sugars exist in our processed foods as substitutes for natural ingredients for cost savings, even though they're known to be toxic. Um, artificial fats are commonly used as a substitute for natural fats and natural oils. Um, also, in processed meats, um, in the article Fresh and Cured Meat Processing and Preservation, processed meats contain elevated levels of nitros nitroso compounds and polycylic uh, aromatic hydrocarbons, also known as PAHs. And when uh, these toxins are consumed, and they, they release chemicals in your body, and they are extremely bad for your organs. Of course, prolonged periods of consuming processed foods like this are going to have a serious negative effect on the human body. Uh, unsaturated fats exist in foods such as chips, candy, baked goods, and other uh, common snacks. Um, they also contain a compound called biphenol A. Um, according to Good Fats and Bad Fats article written by Healthline, unsaturated fats were originally developed to be used as a lubricant and for mechanical purposes and um, fuels. Um, these artificial fats are highly inflammatory and uh, they're proven to be linked to heart disease. Actually, in 2020, the CDC and U.S. officially banned the production of unsaturated fats in American produced foods um, because of so many tests proved them to be detrimental to, to health. Although this is the case, at least 0.9 milligrams per serving are still allowed in a packaged good. Uh, as long as they contain less than one milligram of unsaturated fats, they are allowed to put zero milligrams on a label. Uh, now, the packaging for these processed goods also contain um, BPAs, the biphenol A. Uh, biphenol A is an artificial ingredient um, commonly found in plastics. It was originally developed and used in kids' and babies' toys. Um, although it was, the CDC banned it in 2006 from being used in children and, children's and baby toys because it was proved, proven to be detrimental to child development. Although it was banned due to child development, it is still allowed in the packaging of food products and still allowed to be consumed by us today, even our children. So in correspondence to the CDC, um, poly, PAHs are, um, also commonly found in the meats we eat. They are um, naturally produced uh, when coal, I mean when coal, wood, and oils are burned. Um, they are transferred into ground meats during the processing stage, but we can also transfer them into unprocessed meats during grilling. Um, also other foods that you may grill. Now, not only are these toxic ingredients um, cause major health risks to your, to your organs, but they're also super detrimental to your brain health. 
According to um, the five FDA approved additives with brain damaging effects article posted by MDL links, uh, consuming products that physically destroy your body are also going to physically destroy your brain. Monosodium glutamate, also known as uh, MSG, is another highly used artificial ingredient, um, commonly used as a flavor enhancer. MSG is an exotoxin and, um, exo, excuse me, ex, excitotoxin, and excitotoxin, uh, affects, and uh, attacks the neurons on the brain. Um, when the neurons are attacked on the brain, it causes a lot of brain development issues. When this happens in children, it can cause prolonged brain development issues, and they can, um, develop mental disorders later on in life. For adults, this can affect your cognitive skills and slow brain functions and can lead to things such as dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, although glutamate is essential for your brain, it has been proven by the CDC to be extremely toxic when too much is consumed. Uh, another common side effect of MSG is um, central nervous system failure. So, um, not really something that you would want your children to have, much less yourself. So, as you can see, the everyday favorite foods you consume do come with a risk. Um, these toxic, toxic foods not only affect uh, your physical health, but your mental and cognitive health as well. Um, even though it seems like these toxic additives are basically inevitable to consume, they are basically everywhere, they are, you are able to avoid them and it is possible to buy the alternatives. It may be more expensive, but buying the alternative in the end will be worth, will be worth the value of a healthier life.